So the one of Mbappe, as you're going to see here, like forget about it. We all already know that that's, that's, he's dead. That's a lost situation. Here he readdresses his body, but I'm going to show you how difficult it is. And please, this guy makes it look easy. At that particular moment, now you need to be ahead of the ball. Now he's ahead of the ball. But very important, the last touch he did was there. The one after is striking the ball. So that touch that he makes to be ahead of the ball, he needs to make sure that he touches it well enough for it to come here, to finish. Not here, not there, not here. Your shoulder facing the two posts, there and there. Now, the goalkeeper, you will see, is going to stop. He is not active, he can't really move. He thinks now that he really is going to go there because he opened his body up to finish and generate power. Now the next step, as you're going to see here, look at his shoulders. This is why you need to come back into it. When you come back into it, even there is a real angle, the goalkeeper has to believe that you're going to open up because he doesn't leave you a lot of space here. But because you froze him going like that, so if you're the goalkeeper and you freeze the goalkeeper going there, and you're, you slightly don't see it, but your ankles are, are going that way, it's very difficult now to lift your leg. You will see his leg because he cannot lift his leg because he went that way because of that body position. And that's why the big man is special. Well, you see, you know, we run it now, we see the goal, we've seen it tonight but you said he's been practicing that yes for the last two years yeah and okay. a bit, a did, tiny did, bit you, more. did you practice that when you were a player no I, no not that one i always i thought if it was like it had to be an obvious one for me to close like what i mean by closing is this but what i did practice more often than not is opening up because because I, when I was young, I wasn't conf confident enough in front of goal. So I, I was going to make sure that my mind was going to be equipped, that when I arrive in a situation to finish, that I'm not going to think. Apart if you're stupid enough as a keeper, and you give me that, then I will finish. I score like that with Barcelona against Levante. But more often than not, there is, it's not possible for a striker, for a, uh, sorry, a goalkeeper, to save that ball. If you curve it well, it's impossible, because the ball goes inside, at the very last minute when you go around the So keeper. shall we show it, Thierry? Let, let's reenact that moment, no? So I'll be the goalkeeper. Should I scored one or so like that against, uh, <laughs> against, uh, against Peter. OK, so I'll, so be, what I'm I'll trying... be Peter today. No, but what I'm trying to say, if the ball is, ro is, is rolling and you, you running still that way, you are yourself killing your own angle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. While you are pushing the ball and running, at one point you need to let it roll and now open up. And if I'm looking here, if you're so the keeper... The keeper thinks he, you're going here? You know, even, even if he doesn't look, look at your ankles. Yes. That's it. OK. His, but, his but body okay. weight is going okay, this way. So, so you're saying that, yeah. and then that you're making the goalkeeper move that way. Mm -hmm. okay. So why did you always, almost felt like... Because it's you, impossible. Because you I, always went that way. Is, OK. You, you, very, I can't remember really too many goals no, of any I, way I, you I, went I did, that way. I did way. score some, but I'll explain. You need to believe in what you do and trust it. That was my thing. I knew, okay, I, I will give you, so stay there. I'll give you the curve of, of, of what I was doing. That's, that's the curve. How, how are you going to get that with your hand? Bye-bye. Mm. Yeah. How are you going to get this? Now it's coming back in. So I worked a lot to be able to master that. Killian believes and loves that. That's his thing. Well, you never worried, though. If, if you've got a finish that's known as the Thierry Henry finish, yeah. and it's still known as that now, surely goalkeepers are going into that game thinking, OK, if Thierry Henry's in this position, I'm almost going to read it. I'm going to almost I go, maybe so, go... I so my position early. would be, as a keeper, I'd come across a but little I go, bit more. I go, I go further. I go further. I enjoyed it. You know, and you can't do anything about it. Then I look at you, and you know I'm going to shoot. I can tell you, you can't save it. Okay. I, when I scored that goal against Leeds, you remember when I came back? Yeah. I, I'll share what the goalkeeper said to me at the end of the, of the game. He said, I knew you were going to do it. I saw you doing it so many times, I still couldn't get it. That's priceless for me. By the way, I've, I've got uh, somebody who said hello to, to the studio, our old friend Roberto Martinez. He was hey. here, oh. just had a word Roberto. with him. I said to him, come in front of the camera and wave. Yeah. And he was, he's too shy. Stop it. Uh, What's Roberto doing there? 
Who is he working Scouting. for? Scouting. Uh, he's he got there? a few Portuguese players yeah, here. Yeah, they He's been here to Scouting. watch him. So he's, he's now coach of Portugal. If, so, um, Can you still yeah, see him? What happened, Peter? Can you still see him? I'm, I'm just... I'm, he's, go and get yeah, him. But he's, just, he's, just go and take the camera and grab him. Grab just him. one sec, Thomas. Take the, you, take the camera. Yeah. Take the camera. Take the camera man too. <laughs> Jamie. Jamie. <laughs> Jamie. Jamie. So, he's our friend, we're, we're Roberto Martinez. Like he's the isn't original he? crew. He's defending on the striker. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. He's coming. coming. He's coming. He's coming. Is he going to be able to hear us? He won't be able to hear us, will he? give him ears? Hola, hombre. Just give him ears. Just give him yours. <laughs> Please. Yeah, yeah. Hola, oh, hombre. <laughs> you want ears? They're desperate to talk oh, to so you. Oh, I'm so happy yeah, we're going to see Roberto. Yeah. It's been Roberto. a long time. Oh. You have no idea how happy he looks, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, exactly Roberto. what he wanted to oh, avoid. We, we miss him, don't we? We do. We yeah, miss yeah. him very much. He was one of the originals. Yeah. No, he was. Yeah. Original. The now, original. Now he lives in one of the most beautiful places in the world, and I'm a little bit jealous. Lisboa, Lisboa. Oh, I thought we were talking about Wigan. Lisbon. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic yeah. place. <laughs> Fantastic place. Great food. So many familiar voices. Yeah. <laughs> The original well, I... crew, Roberto. <laughs> uh, Jamie, I haven't heard your voice for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Did you miss it, Roberto? Miss I miss you all. Oh, we miss you very much. TT, uh, everybody there, look at, is, uh, is a wonderful, wonderful group of people, huh, Peter? Who were you, uh, who were you uh, watching today? What players were you watching? Today was uh, Rafael Guerrero. Rafael is at the... Oh. <laughs> What did you think, Titi? I can see no, you there. No, no, it's just that, Rafael? Mister, I, I was just thinking about the positioning of Thomas Müller in between the centre back and the left back, and 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 Harry Kane did the same thing on the other side to make sure that they were not going to to move and neutralise that back four. I'm sure you enjoy that. Yeah, I think tactically it was uh, very difficult. You know that Sarri and Napoli they got very loyal into the 4-3-3, but the positions of Kimmich and Rafael Guerrero are wide. They were so high up, it was impossible for the fullback. As you say, at the back they had one player, or was Thomas Muller, or even Musiala, or Harry Kane. They didn't know if they could jump or they had to delay. The moment that they jump, they open up. It was a 5 before every time. So the position of the two wide players was exceptional from a tactical point of view. And Rafael Guerrero is a, is a footballer that is a, a technician. He can play outside, he can play inside, and it's great for us to see him in that level of form. Your championship's Rebeto. coming up this summer. You have one of the best squads. Do you feel the pressure? From the Portuguese? No, no. It's, uh, as you know, Peter, I think you go to the European Championship and you need to improve on those three games. Uh, Thierry, we've been together in big tournaments and one thing is arriving at the tournament and we've won 10 games and we couldn't do better, but it's what you do once you get into those three games and, and you need to grow in the tournament. But we've got a great team, spirit. The players you've got? Yeah, we've got, a, a fun, <laughs> we got four generations yeah. within, within a, a, a dressing room and, and obviously we are... We are looking forward to March. March is a good camp for us as well to try different different things and, and prepare even closer for the Euros. We're looking forward to it for you too. Hey, very quick question, because Jamie and Micah's contract has not yet been renewed. Do you have any interest in making a comeback? Or, or mine. <laughs> well... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you're... you got the best. You you got the best pundits in world football, so you should be ah, careful. Ah, yes. You don't want to lose any of those. <laughs> well done, Roberto. Roberto. We're going Always to use that. We're going to use that line in the negotiations. Thank <laughs> you, Roberto. <laughs> All the best, Roberto. Be. Amazing to see you. We love Good you. Good looking, Euros. We love you. Bonanit.